Hey, it's me, G. Uh, da, 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 da. No, 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 no. That's the previous intro. Hey, it's me, Austin. Welcome to Retro Rampage, ladies and gentlemen. We're starting a new Let's Play, which we got to jump right in because, again, I'm limited to 15 minute recording sessions due to the new channel status of this channel. This is Let's Play Cuphead, and I'm very excited because I love this freaking game. Um, I know it's not really like. Uh, you know, like a retro game, but you know, it's got a bunch of retro stuff. So I'm doing this one on stream. I do stream on twitch.tv, which I might reveal the link at a further date, but for now, yes, I do stream. Oh, we're gonna go new here and we're gonna select Cuphead. I mean, the name of the game is Cuphead. Let's be real here. We're gonna jump right in because we could do the intro later. However, if you want to support this series, you will see more of it quicker. Uh, that noise there is someone subscribing to my other YouTube channel, which, uh, again, I shut off the, the notifications for, so it's wonderful to see that every time when I'm... It's almost as if it doesn't matter if I shut off the notifications. Once upon a time, in a magical place called Inkwell Isle, there were two brothers named Cuphead and Mugnet. They live without a care and watch fly the wise Elder Kettle. One day, the two boys wandered far from home, and despite the Elder Kettle's many warnings, ended up on the wrong side of the tracks and entered the Devil's Casino. Inside, Cuphead and Mugman soon found themselves on a winning streak at the craps table. Hot dog! exclaimed King Dice, the casino sleazy manager. Manager, These fellas can't lose! Nice run, boys! laughed the newcomer. The brothers gasped. It was the casino's owner, the devil himself. Now how about we raise the stakes? he suggested with a toothy grin. Win one more roll and all the loot in my casino is yours, the devil boomed. But if you lose, I'll have your soul steal. Cuphead, blind by easy riches, nodded and grabbed the dice for a throw. Good gosh, Cuphead, no! cried Mugman, for he understood the danger, but it was too late. Snake eyes! laughed the devil while slamming the floor. You lose! The brothers trembled in fear as he loomed over them. Now about those souls. The brothers pleaded for their very lives. There must be another way to repay you, Mugman stammered. Yes, p please, mister, Cuphead added. Hmm, perhaps there is, the devil snickered, pulling out a parchment. I have here a list of my runaway debtors. Collect their souls for me. That just might pardon you two mugs. Now get going, the devil roared, kicking the boys out most rudely. You have till midnight tomorrow to collect every one of those souls. Otherwise, I'll be the one collecting yours. Cuphead and Mugman were terribly frightened and ran away as fast as they could. Come on, Mug, panted Cuphead. We have to find the Elder Kettle. He'll know what to do. Okay, welcome to Let's Play Cuphead, ladies and gentlemen. This will be a very quick Let's Play, uh, which makes me happy, because I have probably undiagnosed ADHD, and I just, like, get bored of things quickly. What a frying pickle you boys have gotten yourselves into. I know you don't want to be pawns of the devil, but if you refuse, I can't bear to imagine your fates. You must play along for now, collect those contracts, and you, you best be ready for some nasty business. Your dead or friends won't be very friendly once you confront them. In fact, I expect they'll transform into terrible beasts. Take this potion so they won't hang out, hang you out to dry. It will give you the most remarkable magic abilities. Now go to my writing desk and use the mystical inkwell there. You need to prepare yourselves for a scrap. Oh, let's talk to him again. Well, what are you rascals waiting for? Off you go. Meanwhile, I should try to figure out some way out of this mess. Good luck, you troublesome little mugs. Okay. And then there's, yeah, I have a thing where I have to make sure that I uh, talk to everybody like three times to make sure I get all the dialogue because I am a bit of a completionist. So let's enter the tutorial here very quickly. Hold down to crouch. We can press B to jump. We can press B and then X to dash up here. We can press down and B to descend. Uh, we can press Y to shoot. We can press R to lock shoot and then lock in a particular direction. And then we can press B, B, and B to parry. Uh, we can also parry ghosts to revive your dead friend in co-op. And uh, we can press A to use an EX move as well. And we're gonna grab this coin because it is an actual coin, which is why we do the tutorial. Um, you need coins to buy upgrades. Uh, not really upgrades, but like different, different playing styles, basically. And then, yeah, so that's why you want to do the tutorial. And now we are going to head out of here. And welcome to Cuphead. This game obviously was huge back in the day when it released back in like 2017. I know back in the day is like, what? But God, at the time of this recording, it was already six years ago. And then if you watch this even later, oh my God, six years ago. Holy moly, dude. Let's talk to Mr. Apple. Hey, fellas, looks like you're in for it now, eh? Well, I used to be the same way, always getting into trouble, running, jumping, shooting. But now I prefer just strolling around and going to the pictures. But hey, let me give you a hand. Take this. You received three gold coins. Sweet. Hey, guys, good to see you again. Hope those coins helped out a bit. Maybe check with the other folks around here. They might help you, too. The ones not trying to kill you, I mean. Okay. So, 
Cuphead is basically, we're gonna visit Pork Rides Emporium. I know I'm running through this quickly, but again, I'm limited to that 15 freaking minutes, which sucks. Welcome. Uh, we're gonna buy Smoke Bomb. Invisible Dash, you will not take damage during a dash, a great defensive maneuver. I'm gonna purchase that really quick for three coins. We have one coin remaining. And then, uh, yeah. So Cuphead is a shooter, uh, an action platformer sort of thing. You got to equip those new purchases if you want to use them. Look at your equip card, you bums. All right, so we can open up this and equip the Smoke Bomb Charm, which will now change our dash to uh, Smoke Bomb instead. And then we've got here Forest Follies, which is a run and gun level. So run and gun levels, there's only six in the game, two per island. There's three islands. Um... Yeah, running gun levels are basically uh, exactly what they sound like. You want to run a gun. However, there is a hidden uh, secret um, uh, rank. So there's also five coins in each of the running gun levels. That's your main source of getting coins. But yeah, there is a secret uh, hidden pacifist rank. I think I'm going to get hit here, and we do get hit there. Uh, for getting basically... Oh, this is a really messy... Yeah, so welcome to Cuphead. It's incredibly difficult, by the way. Oh boy, it's going to be really difficult talking and also playing, especially for the run and gun levels, but uh, that is the point of a let's play, so we shall do it. Uh, anyways, yeah, there is a hidden rank for run and gun levels where if you don't kill anything, you get a P rank for pacifist, and that's actually like the best rank uh, for these run and gun levels. So you can see we're smoke bomb dashing to use our iframes, which stands for invincibility frames, so that we're not getting hit. Uh, anything that is pink, by the way, you can parry. So we are trying to parry anything that has a pink hue to it. And then here we're going to wait for a mushroom to shoot a pink uh, projectile so that we can go like this and then dash over. Oh my god, we're going to get a purple. This might be the first ever. Had to open my mouth, of course. Okay, uh, let's not die. That'd be great. And we're so close here. Boom. Beautiful. So yeah, because we didn't kill anything, because obviously the game wants you to kill stuff uh, to clear your way, we actually get a P rank here, which is the highest rank you can get for running gun levels. So you can see here it's going to go P, a brand new record. And then we also, if we click A on this area, uh, it should also show us that we have all five coins, which I'm going to make sure after each time. So let's see. And then a new path is revealed as well. So yeah, so we got all five coins, so now we're going to go back to the shop, and uh, we're going to see if we can't buy a better weapon as well. So he's got the chaser, which I never use, but he's got spread, which I do use. And he's also got lobber, but we only have two coins. So that is good. Yeah, we can use spread for our first boss here. So yeah, so what is Cuphead? Cuphead is basically like a boss challenge game. It's kind of weird. We're going to equip the spread and then equip the pea shooter, which we basically we'll never use. Uh, we're going to go for our first boss here. Goopy Legrand is the boss in Ruse of an Ooze. And we're going to be on regular difficulty. There is a higher difficulty than that, but you have to beat the game to unlock it, basically. Um, yeah, so it's basically just a boss game. It's, it's kind of a weird... It's kind of a weird uh, sort of, like, game. Like, I, I guess it's like an old-school sort of arcade shooter? I, I don't know what you would really classify Cuphead as. Uh, but yeah, so we've got a boss here, and we're just simply going to let him bounce over us uh, while we use the spread weapon, which is basically your, like, shotgun, pretty much. Your close range. Deals a lot of damage close range. Uh, now we're going to parry his little question marks here, and then uh, we are also going to use our special... Because we have to use um, six specials in order to get a perfect score. Which we probably don't even want to worry about the perfect score until uh, we unlock some other stuff. We're going to duck this. And we're just going to let him jump. And we're going to dash when we can. He's probably going to be entering the final phase here very soon, I would imagine. Uh, so really surprised. Okay, so since we took a hit there, we don't get a perfect score, but that's okay. We are not attempting to get a perfect score for this uh, playthrough because we will be here till the end of time if we try to do that. Uh, so yeah, now he's a little uh, tombstone, and we're gonna try to use our special there. We're gonna dash that. Uh, thanks for the subscriptions to the YouTube channel, but I wish it was not in the freaking video. But that's all right. 
And down goes Goopy Legrat. I have to hold myself to not perfecting this game because we are perfecting it on stream. So you can see we're ranked by the time, the HP bonus, the parry, the super beater, skill level, I don't even know what that means. I always get two stars on that. We got an A minus. To get an A plus, you basically have to play perfectly. Not take a hit, get three parries, uh, use six supers, and uh, yeah. But we're just gonna beat the levels. This is gonna be a playthrough where we simply beat the game. That is gonna be what we do. Uh, there also might be a shortcut over here. There's a like a shortcut on each map, on each island. Let's talk to this fella. What's that? You two want to fly in a plane like I do? Ha! You're not sitting in any cockpit till you study those blueprints. Oh, right. Okay. So this shows you how to um, fly. So yeah, there's a plane mode. Basically, for some of the bosses, you're going to be in a plane. And this gives you the rundown on the controls for that. So we can shoot for rapid fire. We can press A uh, to... I wonder if it'll let me... Yeah, so we can press A uh, to turn into a bob once we have a full special and blow up. Uh, and then if we have one special, we can shoot like a little uh, little uh, little dude there. Um, one meter EX attack, full meter super bomb morph. Uh, we can parry, press at any time to nullify or interact with pink objects. We can shrink by pressing X, which turns us into a small plane. Um... Yeah, hold to reduce size, increase speed, equipped with mini bullets. But basically, you just want to shrink in order to avoid stuff, pretty much. So, there we go. So, now let's go talk to the other... What is he, a canteen? I always thought he was a canteen. I don't actually know what he is. This little dude to our left. Uh, hello. I guess you two bugs are ready for the wild blue yard. I just remember those birds are flying have their own tricks. Your fancy fighting moves on the ground don't apply up there. Although you can still parry like the dickens. Be sure to shrink yourself when the need arises. But remember, when you're short, it shows your range, see? Well, good luck, I suppose. Let's just make sure it doesn't say anything new. Uh, yeah, so this is the plane. This is going to be a plane level here. We've got Hilda Berg in Threatening Zeppelin. And this is probably the one that stuck, got me stuck the most. I got stuck here so, for so long in my first Cuphead playthrough. But now I've practiced these bosses so much that like, you know, it's basically guaranteed to win. But to get a perfect score is still really difficult, especially on, um, especially on a harder difficulty. So she's going to charge us here. We also want to look to parry the little purple uh, uh, ships. Uh, little bullets like that right there. So she turns into Constellation. So here she is a bull and we already have our first full super. So we're gonna turn into a bomb and blow him up. We just want to duck under the bulls charges there. The green one will shoot a spread. So we don't care about that. And then yeah, we're basically looking for the um, little purple ships to parry their bullets because sometimes they'll shoot a pink bullet. Anything pink you can parry. Uh, basically, so there's one right there. So we're gonna parry that and which also gives you an EX card in the bottom left uh, If you parry something you will get an EX card. All right, so I'm gonna turn into a bomb here and blow them up again And she's probably gonna be entering the final phase pretty soon here I would imagine so when the tornado comes we're gonna shrink We're gonna simply get around it. Uh, let's see if there's a parry here. There is not so here is the final phase already. She's going to turn into a giant moon. Now, we want to get as many EX points as we can because, basically, she will spread her nose out and then uh, she'll basically take a ton of hits from the EX attacks because the hitbox is so large, if that makes sense. So, we're just going to spam and we're also going to be watching out for the UFOs. Okay, one more hit and I am dead, so we got to be careful here. Uh, but she should be close to dying. Uh, so, we're going to shoot one more of that. Yeah, that was a little close there, but we got her. So yeah, that one is really, really, really difficult to perfect. Very, 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 very hard. But uh, yeah, we're not focusing on perfecting. I mean, maybe if we go back, we could maybe do. It. I don't know. Depends on how you know how popular this this series gets. I guess if it gets decently popular, I could go back and try to perfect everything. But for now, I'm just focused on beating the game. And we're almost at that 15-minute uh, time limit here. So I will end the episode here. Thanks so much for watching. Uh, support the video if you want to see more. And I will see you in the next episode of Let's Play Cuphead. Bye-bye. <laughs>